Hi, my name is Sam. I'm going to be guest hosting the Rocks in a Box video for this week. Uh, these rocks we found up in the UP this summer. We've been polishing them all summer. Okay, we've got some epidote. Some more epidote. Got some unikite. A few pieces in this batch. Some epidote. Lots of jasper. There's a lot of metallic specks in a lot of these jaspers. Some banded jasper. Got some cool chirts. This one turned out nice. Don't know what these two are. They're kind of like chert. Polished up pretty nice. They've almost got like a wood grain texture. Found this one almost tumbled off the end. Kind of agate qualities. So got some quartzy almost banding in these two. It's pretty interesting formations. There's a little pocket in the end of that one. It's got little tiny quartz crystals in it. And we've got this one turned out really nice. It's kind of got a bunch of different layers. Some metallic y shine there. There's another piece of that similar material. Sometimes these trick you for agates. We've got this really big one. It's kind of a matte finish. Turned out pretty well. Kind of expected it to crumble a little. Almost like sandstone. Don't know what this material is, but it's pretty cool. You've got some down in your basement somewhere from a diff different definite rock identification, but don't know what this one is because you don't usually find that in that area. Got this little one. Don't even remember finding it, but it's kind of got some agate qualities. It's kind of quartzy, see through little bits. This one looks like just a little brown rock, but when you put it on a flashlight, it's kind of orangey see-through. That one's kind of cool, probably a piece of an agate or something, carnelian. Here's some more of that jasper. A little bit of uh, magnetite. There's a couple kind of magnetite pieces in here. This one's similar, but I don't think that's magnetite. It's some weird mix of odd stuff. Just a few more rocks in here. A bit of epidote. So that's that batch. Oh, and we also have some special guests carvings. This one sits on a shelf. Has to be a 90 degree angle though. It's kind of a cool little fella. And this one I might paint. He's probably gonna become a fridge magnet. A few little knickknacks. Top. And we have an elephant that I carved. Pretty happy with that. And then some puzzles. We'll leave you to try and figure out in the comments. None of these have been cut or glued. They're all solid pieces. They all move. That's today's video.